In the last five to 10 years, we found a lot of farmers around the country are either spraying corn fungicide or asking about corn fungicide. So today we wanna to talk about your options for your farm this year. So first of all, you may ask, well, why do I need to use a corn fungicide? Well, there's a couple of things. First of all is disease control. If you've got diseases like gray leaf spot or northern corn leaf blight in your area, we've seen some huge boosts in yield by getting a fungicide out there to protect your plants. The other thing, even when we don't have disease, we see some yield gains from plant health improvements, reducing the stress on plants. Now, if you are like Brian, you may say, ah, I don't have any stress, everything's great out here, but you know what? We get some days that are hot, we get some stretches that we don't get enough rain or we get too much rain, or, or maybe it even gets too cool at times during the season. There are, there are gonna be some stresses on your corn plants throughout the season, so reducing stress can be a real positive as well. Well, it can, but when you say a real positive, I don't know if I would go that far with fungicides. So what I'm getting at here is, I think you'll gain a little bit of yield if all you have is stress reduction. You're gonna gain a lot more yield if there's some disease component to this. What we found in our area is the tassel time application that works so well for farmers in Iowa and Illinois and Indiana and a lot of the rest of the country, especially as you start moving south. That's been awesome for them. For us, it hasn't worked very well because we have a lot more expense at that point. Here's what I'm getting at. In terms of expense, when you're out there spraying at that V5 to V7 kind of timing, you can spray yourself and the corn is small, so a lot of farmers are using a half rate. So if you only spend three to five dollars on a fungicide and that's it, you're out there spraying anyway, well, that's not a lot of expense. Literally, if you get a two or three bushel gain, you have probably doubled your money. That's awesome. Okay, but the problem is at tassel application, you need to use the full rate because you get a great big corn plant now, and you're probably gonna have to hire somebody to come in and do it for you. If you have to hire a plane and that costs $8, well, if you spend 10 on the fungicide and eight on the plane, that's $18. So even just to break even, you probably have to have five bushels of corn. To double your money, you have to have 10. And we're not gaining 10 on average with tassel applications on our farm or in our area. But we're in dry land, South Dakota, where we only get 20 inches of total annual precipitation, including the snow all year. And we don't have much history of corn disease like they do in other areas. So why these timings that Brian laid out? Well, first of all, when we look down in that V4 to V7 range, I think Brian said V5 to V7, but let's just widen that out a little bit. V4 to V7, that ear on the corn plant is determining how big a round it's going to be. When ear shoots are being initiated and when the girth of the ear is being determined, that's an important time to reduce any stresses or to eliminate any diseases that could take energy away from producing that ear of corn. That's why that stage is so critical. Now, here's the other thing. You're going to get two or three weeks of residual out of these fungicides. Now, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, it, it could vary depending on what product you do, how good a coverage you get, all those things. But when you think about V7 corn, for example, you probably have 10 leaves that are out. Well, if you've got 10 leaves that are out, you almost have that ear leaf on your plant. And if you could protect the ear leaf, that can really help us even later in the season. Okay, I wanna talk about the fungicides that you can use. There are so many choices now. There are a lot of combination products. We encourage you to at least consider a combination product. But one way you can do that too is you can mix a couple products on your own rather than using a premix. All I know is when I look at the fungicide prices today versus five years ago, the price is a lot less. And again, when you're spraying early and the plant is half size or less, a lot of people are using half rates and getting by very, very well. I don't even worry about resistance because they're, time, or they're using that appropriate rate for an appropriate sized plant. Okay, but again, when you get to tassel, that's where you've got to go with the full rate. So you can look at some of the combination products or premix products like Trivapro, excellent. Stratego Yield, great. Preemptor is excellent. Preaxor, excellent. All those are very, very good, but they're going to be a little bit more expensive than if you go with, let's say, generic Quadris, like Equation, for example. That's three bucks an acre for a half rate or less. And you could throw in some generic tilt, let's say, for a couple of bucks. So you can cut your cost if you want to use a little bit older technology. If you want to use one of these premixes, it might cost you a little bit more. In many cases, you gain the yield. But all I'm trying to say is you've got a lot of options today, and the costs are all less than they were five years ago. 
One last comment I had is uh, the stress that happens right around the reproductive phases. When Brian mentioned most of the country has seen the best gains late in the season, once we get uh, to the reproductive stages, we've got tassels out, silkings beginning, uh, that's a great time to put a fungicide on because there's so much stress on the plant as it's trying to move a lot of nutrients up to feed that. Well, in. that's also when you get some of these really bad diseases like gray leaf spot. So yes, you could go out there at full tassel, you could go 10 to 14 days later with another application in really high yielding corn. We have seen that pay in a lot of cases. But again, if you have a history of disease, you're a little further south, you got gray leaf spot, northern corn leaf blight, some of these tougher diseases, that's where it's most likely to pay. Well, one other big yield robber that you need to be concerned about is our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop it coming up next.